hello hello guys today i want to show you how you can just put a password on your microsoft excel and microsoft word files sometimes you want to lock your files and don't want anybody to just open them and there you need to add or to put a password on your files to put a, a, a password on excel file you just go to file many you see a file many here there is an excel sheet that is opened and to put a password in this shell on this sheet or in this excel file i just i need to go to file many i go to file many here i click on file many and i go to save us I go to save us i just want to save a copy well the copy which has a password i go to save us I click here and I just browse the location where you just want to save this copy with the password. And I browse the location and arriving here, I just give it a name. I can call it a template too. I can give it another any name, a name that you want. And after that, you go to tools. You see here I have tools. I have tools. You can see. I have tools and here on this on this uh, here near the tools there is a down draw box and it's here that I need to click and I click here to just to choose to choose the general options I click here just to choose general option I come in this on these tools and I click on general general options I click there and they ask me the password open here I just want to add the password that will be used when you just want to open this file yeah let me create a password yeah, yeah. Uh, of course you need to create a very strong password once you just want to protect your excel file I just click let me uh, create a password yeah, for example, let me click here. Yeah, let me add a password. And the password must be strong. After adding this password to open, here there is a password to modify. Maybe you just want to send this file to somebody and you ask him maybe to open and view maybe you don't want uh, anybody to modify here you will also add a password that somebody will be used while he want to mo or she want to modify the file so that's why here i'll just leave this blank i don't want to put something here because i just want only to protect my file i click ok I click OK and after clicking OK they will ask me to enter the password the password to confirm you will just enter the same password as the one you just put before let me re-enter the password and the two passwords must be must be the same once they are not similar or the same they will just tell you to go back and I click OK and now I'm now just going to choose where I want to save. Maybe I need to save this uh, this Excel file in on desktop, maybe in downloads, maybe in document. Let me just save it in downloads and I click save. Yeah, the files already exist there. And let me change location or I can change the name. Let me just call it one. Let me change change the name. Let me call it year one. Yes, and I click on save. And let me close here and go back to to the download to open the file to see how it will just ask me to add to put a password to open. Now the file is here. Let me just click on open and you see I can't see anything once I don't put the password. This file now is protected. Nobody else can open it unless 
he or she does not, doesn't have the password. Yeah, this is how you can just protect your Excel sheet. I can now enter my password to open. Let me type my password to open this file and then I click OK. Now it's opened. Friend, dear friend, this is how you can protect your Excel sheet. Don't leave it and protect it once. You don't want people to go through it or to just access it in his way. Just please protect it and there it will be safe. Nobody will be able to lead unless he or she doesn't have password. Now this is Excel sheet. Let me go to the Word document or Word file to see how it can be protected by just putting a password. Let me, for example, open this template one as a Word document. And this is a Word document as we did previously on Excel, on Excel file also. It's the same as Word files or Word document. You also need to come and click here on File Mini. You click on File Mini as we did on Excel. And then you go to Save Us. You need to save a copy with a password. You go to Browse. You're going to browse the location. And let me just call it a year two, for example, if it is a kind of report. And I also wanted to save it in the download let me save it there but on this document i just want to put a password i just want to protect it there i will just need to go to tools as i did on excel file i go to tools here and then i go down here to general options as i did on excel and here I have a tab they have to enter a password to open there is also password to modify but here, here I just want to uh, only the password to open. Now I just create a password. Let me create a password. Let me create a password. And it was uh, on Excel. Let me go to OK. I click OK, and they will also ask me to ask me to enter the password to open. I enter the same password again. I enter the same password. The two password must be similar. And I click OK. Now I click on I click save. And I close here. Let me go there to see how is my Word document file. I go to download where I saved my file, my Word document file. And I click open here, let me double click on it. And there you see they ask me, they ask me to just to put a password to open. And once I just put a password, or I put there once uh, I was uh, locking it, it must be the same password. Once you 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 mistaken to write it correctly it will just don't it will not be opened i click ok to see now the password is correct it's okay now my file my world document or my world file is now protected here you have an excel an excel sheet that is protected and i also have my word here document that is protected and now I have I can share them to somebody, and once I don't want people to interact with my doc, my file, my Word file, my and my Excel file, I just don't give them the password, and I give them the password anytime I want. And you can just also leave the Excel and the Word files on your PC and make it protected. And once your PC is being used with many different people. They will not be able to open your files. They will be protected against anybody who can just go there and open and change or modify other things. Guys, if you want to see other many more videos like this one, please subscribe on my YouTube channel and enjoy the video. See you next time.